Hello, everybody. Good morning. Um, well, it's still morning for me. Probably not for a lot of you. Good Saturday, okay? Yeah, Justin's here jamming out with some Katamari. It's just a good way to start the day. Ow! You'll always punch me. Why do you want to punch me? Whatever. You, you have fists and they're hitting me. <laughs> okay, okay. Never mind. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> but welcome. Yes, we have a good game coming up. For Cusa Grande, not necessarily a good game. Eight Eyes! Eight Eyes, yeah. Does anybody here have Eight Eyes? Are you all spiders? If you're not spiders, I'm super disappointed in your failure to be spiders. You know, it's probably for the best that you aren't a spider. You know, that, never mind. If you're if you're a spider, don't tell me. Because I really don't want to know. Hello, Lena Lieta. Thank you for the host. Oh my gosh. I'm just currently working on getting everything ready. Oh no, everybody's a spider? Oh my gosh. Alistair, no. I'm really excited for this though. You know, I only know a little bit of Eight Eyes. It's being done in a specific order so that it's easier for people to track, so don't worry. That has been thought of. Now, as everybody is going live, I would just ask you to get to a screen that has color to the edges. Letting the demo play out, I suppose, is going to work here. That'll work just fine. Sweet. So how is everyone? It has not been too long since I last saw you. You know, we had some matches last night. Those were a blast. Oh my gosh, Red Queen, thank you for the sub. It's five months. Oh, baby. I am celebrating just like these Katamari dudes. Hezmerga, don't post all those eyes in chat. Ah! I don't like him. Me no likey. Oh yeah, SGDQ's coming up fast. It's gonna be a blast. Everybody should make sure they watch it. I'm actually going to SGDQ. I'm not running anything, but I'm going to be there to support our main man, Smartball, in his quest to run Quid, or Quid, Kid Cool. Quid Cool. It's a good... <laughs> oh, that's going to be a blast, though. I'm so excited that we have Kid Cool in the turn, or in the marathon this year. I'm so excited that, I don't know, it's such a hard game. Incredibly hard, but he's gonna wreck it. Hello, Axis of Anarchy. Welcome, everybody. Come chillax a little bit as we get ready for this game. Now, NPC, I don't know if you are able to hear me yet or not. Do you know if we have somebody determined to give us audio? Hello! Oh, you're right here. Yeah, I just got in. Sorry. Oh, it's all good. Let me boost your sound a bit so that you're louder than Katamari. Uh, which is Hex or Hex Girl that's going to be doing audio? Oh, perfect. All right, let me go ahead and get that ready. Yeah, I am now getting stuff ready on my end too. You're getting what on your end? Oh, stuff. 
stuff right yeah <laughs> you're getting stuff okay that's that's good uh uh, welcome to Saturday, my brain's dead, and so are all the eyes. We have eight eyes coming up. Lightyear, is this a reference to spiders? The eight eyes here? Or is it just someone who is very observant? I'm sure we'll find out later. I, I'm going to theorize that NPC is the spider. I'm the spider? Yeah, you're the spider. Why am I the spider? Dude, I don't know. You're not, you're not making a good case that you're not a spider. I'm not the one that wears glasses. Uh, I mean, so I have two eyes. That's because you have eight eyes. So you don't need glasses, okay? Spiders have enough eyes that... Who cares? You know. If one eye is, like, nearsighted, bam, just use your other seven eyes. See? So... I'm pretty sure you're a spider. All of you with perfect vision out there, especially with 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 vision, that's not how it works. <laughs> I just realized. NPC, <laughs> why am I so dumb? <laughs> I don't know, but I can't braid either today, so we're going to oh. have a fun day today. Oh, this is going to be great. But what's interesting about this game is that it's non-linear. Uh, yeah, so right. we really have to brain a little bit. But you, you've dealt with a little bit of that in order to make it easier for us to track, right? Yeah, I've given them the route. That's not going to make it any easier, though. Just easier for us. Well, I'll explain why um, once everything gets going. Uh-huh. Because I don't want to spoil the reason. Good, good. Yeah, no spoilers, all you cutie patooties out there. Okay? That's right, I called you a patootie. How do you feel, chat? Eight eyes. All the better to see you with, my chat. Well, perfect. I think... Oh my gosh. Uh, we're just going to relax for a little bit until people are able to get everything ready. Yeah, I'm counting your butts, Almatia. <laughs> Oh yeah, we have to have a little bit of this beautiful haunted castle music just so that we can get excited about the game coming up. Oh, I am so excited for this. I know that you've wanted this game for a while. I wanted this as my first game, period. <laughs> this is gonna this is hypothetically gonna be the first game and I realize this is gonna be the last Time, so I was like, I don't remember all the games I've sent to people, but let's see if any of them have played Eight Eyes. Wait, funnily enough, Dan God of Thunder says he actually owns this but has never played it. Wait, Dan owns this but has never played it? Oh my Yeah, gosh. so I'm pretty sure he's going to want to take a sledgehammer to this after the end of it. Oh, you're probably right. Let me go ahead and try some of the audio on Witch's Hex screen. Okay, we've got it coming up. Uh, which, let's oh, that see. reminds me, I should probably put the order of what people are on my stream so I can keep track of them. And I really, as much as I hate to say this, <laughs> and I apologize to anybody else who's listening to this. I really hope this is not a game where everybody gets stuck on the first level for the full hour. Oh, baby, that is audio. Good. That's what I like to hear. Audio. I don't like to hear anything that's not audio. <laughs> okay, I think I'm actually ready. Uh, we can wait 
a minute or two just so that we start closer to uh, the suggested start time, but I'm kind of ready to get rolling. Okay, I'm currently checking to see if everybody is good to go. Oh yeah, thank you, NPC, for giving them the list of the stage orders. You've been oh, listening yeah, to this title screen music for 45 minutes. Witch's Hex will free you soon. You have not had to listen to this for 45 minutes. I'm not forcing you all to listen to this for an hour, but I give you the game of the name of the game. Maybe, maybe she really likes it. It's pretty good. I will admit, there are a couple of things in this game that I will give them props for, but it doesn't make up for the mass amount of stuff it does not make up for. Thank you, Fluffy Squirrel, for the sub. Oh my gosh. I really appreciate it. Dan is doing his 30 second test. That's completely fine. Uh, as per the rules, they are allowed to test the controls for up to 30 seconds before they start. Uh, maybe you Yeah, I would... Hold on, I'm gonna make sure. I'm making sure that all of them get the 30 seconds in because... I want to make sure they know how to um, control Orin. Ah, gotcha. Because if there's anything that, you know, testing out is very important is to try and test out that bird control. Yeah. No, the title screen's so good. Welcome to Eight Eyes. <laughs> and the other one, it's a little bird He's just flying over there. Okay, Usu says that the bird works. Okay. Wow, <laughs> Nightbot works. is getting really excited for some reason. How come he said sound advice? Oh, I don't know. He's kind of freaking out right now. <laughs> Hello, Nightbot. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be fun. I really hope this is going to be fun. Okay, I'm wishing them luck. Wish them luck. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. Uh, the stakes are high, okay? Unfortunately, they're living in Portland, so that's why. Okay, and here we go. As soon as I see movement inside the first stage, I will start our timer, and Dan is rolling. So where are they starting here? They will be starting in Spain. Ooh. Now, the reason we gave them this order is because any other order is going to make fighting the bosses more impossible than they already are. Gotcha. So Spain is yeah. going to be happening first. Okay, I kind of like the music in this game, by the way. So the music is, music is decent. Oh, yeah. So what can you tell us? Uh about this, since this is sort of the first time that I'm seeing this. Well, the one thing I'll point out immediately is that everybody, um, you have the bird, which is definitely a neat thing, kind of a platformer. And that's pro probably one of the good things I will give this game. Okay. Is that the bird is fun to fight with. Um, beyond that, the fighting really sucks. Because 
basically in order to fight the enemies, you need to go up, hit them, run away, let them swing, and then just hope you don't get tagged so much. Yeah, I, I could see that with this game. You run up, whack them, run away. Uh, I'm wondering, this is basically Castlevania. Yeah, this is essentially Castlevania. A poorer version of Castlevania. Poor this man's call, Castlevania. This, no, I'll call this uh, Dollar Tree Castlevania. <laughs> okay. Well, what makes it so cheap feeling to you then with this? Like, what what makes this well, bad? It just doesn't flow better than a regular Castlevania game, is what I say. Okay. Um, also, it's just the bosses. When they go up against the bosses, that's when all the tears are going to start flowing. Uh huh. I like tears. That's how I live. Stay hydrated, like drink everybody's tears. <laughs> like, stay hydrated, bot could learn some lessons from this stream, okay? So yeah, um, Spain, which is the first level, is also the easiest, which is kind of a sad thing to say. But um, Jingle, yeah, thank you for the host there. Uh, yeah, oh. so far it seems pretty easy to understand. Is this stage non-linear though? Yeah, it's non-linear. I mean, it's, this stage is linear, oh, okay. as opposed to a couple other stages that won't be. Um, one thing to note, um, when you kill enemies, they will either drop white crosses or brown crosses. Okay. Oops. And white crosses are for your items, and brown crosses are for your health. And okay. so throughout the game, you will get different items, and you can use them against enemies. Uh, the thing is, all the items suck. There's only one item that does not stink, and that is the white crystal. The white crystal stuns enemies, and that's probably the only good item to have in this game. Oh, really? Because they will, all, they will also stun bosses. Okay, I, I'm a little bit curious, because we have this bird. Can you send your bird out to attack? Yeah, the bird attacks. Okay. And as such, the bird also has a health bar. <laughs> what happens if your bird dies? Oh, uh, you soft block the level and you have to kill yourself. <laughs> the thing is, in the first level, it's not important. The rest of the game, it is. Because Orin opens up a lot of passages. And what people are finding out right now is that um, everything does a lot of damage. And there's not really any health pickups constantly throughout the game. Yeah, it, it doesn't look like there are, and it seems like the probability of a brown cross dropping is pretty low. Just from what yeah, I've seen so far. Yeah, it's slower than the regular. One thing that isn't really mentioned that I really didn't mention is that, and some um, figured it out, a light year has found a hidden block, and there are different blocks in the game that can extend your life bar, uh, max out your life, or give you a clue. Uh, the thing about eight eyes is that there are in the seven rooms or the seven uh, levels. There's a clue in each one, and in order to get the good ending, you need all seven clues to get to answer a puzzle to know where you have to put the eight jewels you collect in the game. Okay. But let's be honest. I wasn't really expecting them to need to know. No, we're not going to see that. No. We're not. <laughs> By the way, thank you, Kowal, for the sub. Uh, I, I'm looking at this. I know Feasel used to speedrun this game. I don't know if he has actively recently at all. Um, yeah, I actually watched a little bit of the speedrun before um, this, so... But yeah, um, main thing to know in the speedrun is always have that white crystal. <laughs> oh, we start having chat defending the game. You knew this was going to happen, though. Oh, yes. I'm sorry... I refuse to defend this game. People can defend it if they want to. I have played this for eight hours at the very least, and there is no fun that I had in this game. If people <laughs> had fun, well then... Yeah, I would say this game isn't necessarily good, but it's definitely not the worst game out there. There are worse games. Okay, so the main character is Orin, and the bird is... Curtis. Are you... Kutris? 
I get it. I get them confused all the freaking time. Yeah, the music is pretty good for the NES. I like it. Yeah, the music I will say is pretty good. It's just as far as all the games that I've been given in Cusa Grande, they have a I'll just say high difficulty curve. And for people that are not familiar with this game, yeah, the difficulty curve is going to be apparent. Oh yeah. But let's be honest. When I when we gave out Castilian last time, uh, Cusa Grande too. Yeah, there were some people defending that until, yeah, they were just having too much trouble. Oh my gosh, Castilian was so hard. I do think that it has good aspects, but man. It's like, I've been, I actually watched uh, Castilian on different consoles, and it looks like a decent game on us or other consoles. <laughs> Dan, God of Thunder, says in chat, anyone who said this game is good is objectively wrong. <laughs> he says as he games over. So here's the story. The manual actually... Yeah, it's lore time, NPC. Oh. Yes, yeah, this, is, this is a great story. Everybody sit down and grab a hot cocoa and enjoy the story of this game. I feel like I need to be an old man reading this story, oldish. After hundreds of years of chaos, mankind has finally emerged from the ruins of nuclear war. This world of the distant future has once again flourished under the guidance of the great king, who harnessed the power of the eight eyes to rebuild the planet. These strange jewels of power were formed at the eyes or centers of the eight nuclear explosions which nearly destroyed the Earth. In the wrong hands, the Eight Eyes could cause untold destruction, and now they have been seized by the Great King's Eight Dukes in a desperate bid to gain control of the world them for themselves. They have banished the King to the nuclear wastelands, and already their squabbling threatens to plunge the world into war once again. The task of retrieving the Eight Eyes falls to you, Orin the Falconer, the bravest and mightiest of the King's Guardsmen. With your fighting falcons, Kutris, you must penetrate each of the Eight Duke's castles. There you will face the Duke's soldiers, and battle strange nuclear mutants such as living skeletons, giant wasps, and mud men. You must defeat the monstrous, monstrous boss of each castle to retrieve the jewel of power he guards. Then, to complete your quest, return the Eight Eyes to the Altar of Peace to await the return of the Great King, so that he may finish the rebuilding of Earth. Your reward will be the eternal gratitude of all mankind. That was pretty good. I... you know what? Okay, so the world got blown up and now you're trying to keep everybody from dying. Ooh, I have a message here, by the way. So, what hap- uh, is this a two-player game? Um, I think so, yeah. You can have one player controlling, uh, uh, Kurt Kurtris, and then one person just, um, controlling, uh, Orin, I believe. I never played too many two-player games, so I really don't have that much expertise. Yeah, you field. should be able to have the other player playing as the bird, which is kind of, you know, I don't know very many NES games that sort of had an NPC helping you out that somebody else could control if they came and joined you. That's pretty awesome. I would totally play as the bird, okay? <laughs> just look at the whoa Usu just going down the stairs that was kind of entertaining yeah you can either just walk down the stairs or you can kind of tumble down the stairs well, I, I mean, don't remember what causes that I mean Sonic 2 had that but this is before oh, Sonic oh, 2 which is Hex is at the boss oh baby we have progress yeah watch her die real quickly you think so? Oh, yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> I had no doubt in my mind. <laughs> well. So, why do you say that? Um, the one thing you're going to know about the bosses is that they take a gajillion hits to, de to destroy. Oh, no. The one thing about the order that I gave them is that the um, when you beat the boss at that level, you get the quote-unquote sword to fight the next boss 
And if you don't have the right uh, sword, you um, do about a half less damage. If you oh, have the right no. sword, you do a good amount of damage. Yeah, it looks like a lot of people are picking up the sword upgrade, if I'm not mistaken. That, that is just a dagger, that's not a sword. Oh. What the crap? Yeah, you... It's huge! It's like, yeah, I got this five foot long dagger. No, that's totally a sword. Well, the thing is that it doesn't actually... Sh you basically just have, like, this collective sword. Or, so you don't actually, like, have an inventory for, you know, what swords you have gotten so far. Uh-huh. So I'm taking a look. The boss that they're fighting here is uh, called Enriquez Bartona. He is a master of fencing, perhaps even better than Orin. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, it doesn't really look like he fences too much. Oh my gosh, Dan. <laughs> Your reward for beating Enriquez uh, will be a giant black pearl called the Black Butterfly of Parachusu. So, one thing I will say about fighting the first boss, actually in completing the first level, I don't know if they're kind of trying to rush through this, but you really cannot rush through eight eyes. What you want to try and do is um, try and have as much life as you can for the boss. Run past the boss, get onto the upper level, and have the falcon take out the boss. That is the safest way of um, beating the first level. So, yeah, we'll see, we'll see how they, uh, progress. Okay, speaking of games, I'm, s speaking of games, of course, this whole stream is about games, but I am sending out the game to my group, because they're going to be playing next. No, I'm, I'm curious to be seeing this. Apparently there are enemies that can only be killed by the bird. Um, I think that's correct, yeah. Uh, it's been a while since I've played this, but yeah, there are certain enemies you can only take down with the bird, and trying to go after them with uh, Orin is just a huge mistake. So yeah, you have to be careful. Uh -huh. But also, um, another section of the game that they won't get to is in um, future stages, the levels can be maze-like, and... Um, yeah, it is impossible to get through it without, you know, knowing the correct way of getting through it. Because I spent like an hour on one level and I was just screaming trying to figure out the correct way. <laughs> and then dying to the boss right after. Okay, let's see if let's see if Witch's Hex is gonna get past this first boss. Okay, Witch's Hex going up against He's kind of a good fencer. Can you not hit him with arrows or daggers? Any weapon that you try to use against the boss is pretty much fruitless except for the white crystal. <laughs> okay, I love it. So, yeah, which is Hex is, you know, in the lead. Sweet. Well, good job, which is Hex. Yeah, the, the boss is definitely going to take a while, and it doesn't really look like there's anything that's going to make it easier. Yeah, that's why I was like, after seeing them play, I'm just thinking, please don't be stuck on this one level for an entire hour. I think we're going to see progress, but it's... It's just rough. This game is difficult. Yeah. And people who are defending this game and seeing people trying to get through the first level... They're going to have a tough time trying to defend it past this. Nobody gets through level one. Oh, yeah. Oh, did I get Comcasted? Uh-oh. Oh, dang it. Or it might have just been the frame rate. Was it the frame rate? Because if so, I, it's because I was trying to get the game the next game ready. Uh, that was my fault. Let's see. Frame lagging, totally my fault. Okay. Because for some reason, if I do literally anything during matches, 
on my computer, it lags a bit. <laughs> um, which is actually a nice strat, which is having the enemies go after the Falcons so that Orin can go after the enemy from the back. Oh yeah. So let's let's hope. I'm really hoping somebody's gonna get a little bit further in. <laughs> I'm really scared now. Please prove me wrong, people. You all are great gamers, I know you are. Oh yeah. Yeah, you can still blame Comcast, it's fine. Blame Comcast. <laughs> Oh, so, uh, yeah, I'm just looking. I think other players are going to get to the boss fairly soon. Uh, whether or not they'll be able to pass the boss is another question, but... Yeah, I think I think you're going to die at the first boss, like, once or twice before you think. I have to think of a different way of how to tackle this boss. Oh, yeah. The thing is, if something's not working for you, you got to realize, try something different. Which is one of those difficult things when you're doing a blind match. Uh, you often just want to go for what feels like is going to be the fastest. Uh, but I would go with the safest almost every time. I love how you go down the stairs. Uh, can you actually like press down and walk down the stairs? Yeah, it's uh, just that because there's no... Um stone that you can just like have to go down since you press right you just fall down the stairs instead of just walking down them. oh i love the bouncy the the booty bounce down the stairs okay that's how i usually go downstairs <laughs> ben pc is getting the shoe oh oh no okay witch's hex is trying to fight the boss here I don't know if she is... She had the right idea, but she... Ooh. But she just didn't execute it properly. And she lost the bird, so yeah, good luck. Yeah, not gonna be possible now. No. Oh, and there we go, a death. Am I a toddler? Also... Yeah, yeah. I'm also going to make a uh, mention that the people that did this game, uh, Taxon, made the worst NES game ever. So. Uh oh. Yeah, so they get no love from me. Let's see if we get some more frame drops as I do a, a couple things real quick. Please, no! No frame drops. And Lightyear just found some extra health in the wall. So that might get them um, a little bit of wanting to check the walls for, you know, hidden stuff. Um, the worst game on the NES uh, for me is Magician, by the <gasps> way. Oh my gosh, the company that made this also made Low G-Man, apparently, which we've yes, had on here, so... I, I like Low G-Man. Yeah, but Magician is just a game I refuse to ever touch ever again. I mean, let me just say this. It can be an enjoyable game. It can be an enjoyable game. But I have had so much bad history with that game, I refuse to ever accept it as a good game. A game that has force shields that you have to power up. I have a problem with. A game that has a food and water meter that you have to always keep Man. Is, drives me crazy. You gotta eat. You gotta eat, NPC. You have a food meter yourself, okay? So you can handle a video game with a food meter. Fine. <laughs> oh, I love how, like, you, you take all this damage from pretty much everything in this game, but if you fall like 20 feet, nah, not a big deal. No fall damage in this game as far as I can see. Oh, Lightyear is now at the boss. Nice, Lightyear, let's see uh, what they're able to do. Yeah, but he's um, also finding out there's something in the wall. By the way, the next game is actually confirmed, NPC. 
Oh, uh, what is it? Um, it's Harry Potter and the Spirit of Dobby for Game Boy Color. <laughs> oh, Oh, I'm sure that's going to be wonderful. <laughs> okay, let's see what Lightyear does. Because he's, I think he's going to think that's going to be a, a blow for blow. But he's right now using Orin, and he's chasing after Orin, and that is actually the smart thing. Oh, good. Because actually, Orin has a ton of health, while you're not going to have a ton of health. Oh yeah, Orin has tons of health. Lightyear, doing pretty good here. Yeah, he's done more damage than uh, which his Hex has, so. Okay. Uh, for those who are wondering, I can, yes. I can't right. remember Kat Katarani. I just, I don't. I just don't. Oh, man. <laughs> Lightyear there's still a trying bird to fight the boss. Guy. Thank you, Justin. Oh, I'm really enjoying this match, though. This is being beautiful. And yeah, yeah. I, I, w I would argue that, you know, it's not necessarily the worst game in the world, but it's definitely not the best. Lightyear dealing a good amount of damage to the boss. Oh, oh he's getting so freaking close. He's getting so close. Oh my goodness, I didn't even realize how much... Oh no! Oh, dang it! Oh, he was so close. Oh, and I also see Dan God of Thunder finally reaching the boss. Nice. So that now means that three people have reached the boss. I haven't seen Usu get to the boss yet, unless I just missed that. I don't believe Usu has. Okay. Which is Hex trying to get back into this damn taking a death there. Not a oh, huge surprise, funny. he had almost no health there. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, that's how I feel, Dan. That is how I completely feel about this game. Nah, Battletoads is not Kuso. Kuso. Oh, jeez. Yeah, Battletoads, like, is extremely hard, but I think it's reached a point of how epic it is. Yeah, it's also one of those games where Turbo Tunnel is overrated on its difficulty, but that comes from a guy that has played Battletoads about a thousand times and has memorized the Turbo Tunnel. I've beaten the Turbo Tunnel. It's fine. I haven't beaten the game, but I beat the tunnel. <laughs> yeah, it's like there's so many worse parts of Battletoads that Turbo Tunnel is just like the tip of the iceberg. The thing is, like, the Turbo Tunnel is difficult, but it's enjoyable. It's a blast to play. Yeah, where did, um, Solar Jetman, right? Uh... I, I think they did. Yeah, that's definitely a Kuso game of sorts. Uh, yeah, I would have loved to have put Castle Quest, but you're right, there is no way you can judge progress in that game. Because the progress is to beat the game. There really is no way to judge it. Other than probably the amount of, like, red keys you get in that game. I've beaten Castle Quest, and that's also not an enjoyable game. Ca yeah, Castle Quest seems difficult. Uh, Snake Rattle and Roll is another rare game that is kind of amazing, but absolutely difficult. It's been a while since I've ever touched that game, so yeah. Let's see, I want to look up a little bit more about this game, Eight Eyes. I'm trying to think about any other information that I am excluding about this game. Uh, 
So because eight I... eyes are the nuclear centers where the bombs went off. You know, these castles are really well put together for having a new cap in, like, inside of them. Can I just say that? So, good job, ancient architects. You, you did it right. Oh boy, so apparently, uh, like, this was developed by a group called Thinking Rabbit. And I don't know any of their other games here. Mind you, ooh, they made a Casablanca game. And Exodus Ultima 3, okay. But everything else is something that I don't think I've ever heard of. Taxon, though, is the one that published this. They published oh, Mystery yeah. Quest, Fist of the North Star, Mappy Land? What's oh, Mappy Land's fun. You know Mappy Land? Yeah, Mappy Land's fun. Although it does have one part of the game where you can, um, uh, oh, Usu's at the boss now. Nice! Usu and Witch's Hex right there. Oh, and he, he, he used the white crystal. Oh, that might be a real hint for him because he found out that white crystal pauses the boss. Well, Usu, yeah, Usu has that knowledge now. So that Light, could... Light done the most damage to the boss. But yeah, Lightyear had... did a lot. Relin, thank you for gifting that sub. Oh my gosh. I really appreciate it. Uh, so, which is Hex? Doing some damage to the boss with the bird. Come on, Kutrus. One thing that they uh, probably don't really know is that you can stay on the second level and the bird will stay on the first level and you don't even have to be on the same level as the boss. Do you think you can kill the boss just with the bird? I do that. Oh, okay. So yes. <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's not a question of if. That's the only way I beat this boss. Oh my gosh, Relin, you're too nice. Uh, yeah, this boss... He looks kind of grumpy. Although, I have to say, which is Hex? has the pattern down you might see her um take take down the boss come on might actually have some progress here and now the boss just runs away <laughs> i don't want to fight you anymore well, i can't blame the boss you know when you have a bird that just keeps, like, poking your eyes out, you probably want to run away. If you have eight eyes, it's not as big of a deal, but still. <laughs> this game should be called Bifocals. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, no! Run. Witch is hex. Oh, no! Lots of damage done to the boss, though, so... Uh, she's got a really good strat going on here. Yeah, I think Lightyear still did more damage than Witch's Hex, so Witch's Hex is definitely, uh, second place. Wow. Like, none of the people who worked on this have worked on much else that people would know. This is interesting. This is one of those <laughs> games that, you know, they worked on a handful of games. The, the designer for this did marketing and support for some... Mahjong games and Caliber <laughs> point fifty and Formula One built to win, whatever that is. Uh, <laughs> so it's like this is just from what I'm seeing. This is really the only platformer than that these people worked on. Relin, you're just too nice. Thank you for getting all of these people <laughs> uh, subbed. Really, thank you. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I don't know. They didn't work on platformers. Maybe that's why it is the way it is. Yeah, I I don't know. I would think somebody would have tested this out a little bit better, but you know. And Dad tried Dan tried to do one on one hits with the boss, which is just not the answer. That's okay. Hello, Kitario! Oh my gosh. <laughs> I 
Wow, I think uh, Lightyear might have a good chance to go up against this boss. Because he even has enough, um, enough, um, health to probably trade hits after a while. Oh yeah, uh, Lightyear is taking it a little bit slow. Good. Understandable. Holy crap. Uh, yeah, I just have to say a huge thank you to, to Relin. <laughs> Uh, let's see, uh, let me try to focus on the game for a second here, uh, because Lightyear currently fighting the boss, I think Lightyear might be able to do it this time, though. Yeah, just take it slow, Light, uh, Lightyear, just take it slow. Oh, he's almost, he's almost there. He is almost there. Yeah, he's taking it slow, though, that's a good choice. Don't rush. Killing him is more important than beating him quickly. Oh, he got no, stabbed don't, in the no, foot. No, don't. Yeah, don't. Taking risky stab by. So, question: How do you control the bird? Hold, hold on, I want to. Because we almost are going to see um, what happens when you beat a level. Oh, nice. And that's that's interesting. To its own. Yes! Yes! Lightyear it. did it! Okay. And this is this is a fun part. This is a fun part. So after you kill the boss, you have tea with him. Aww. And, and a skeleton brings out the tea. What a nice skeleton. And so now the next place he'll be going is Egypt. You know, I want a skelly bro like that. Okay? <laughs> what an amazing skelly bro. Yeah, light so here heading to Egypt. Definitely in the lead at this point. Yeah, now we're going to see more utilization of um, the bird. I'm not going to call him the name because I'm going to get it wrong. I just know I am. So yeah, there will be more um, of a necessary bird usage. Okay, cool. Well, as, as far as I see, everybody is starting to get the hang of this. That's what I really love, uh, love to see. Nobody is, like, not showing that they're not progressing, you know? Everybody is starting to figure things out. Lightyear definitely figured out the boss uh, the quickest, but we'll have to see what happens next. Now, he got a dark crystal of sorts from that boss. Is that right? Oh, uh, that's one of the jewels. That's one of the eyes. Oh, okay, so it's useless. Yeah, I mean, it's basically useless in this context, but if you're actually trying to play through the full game, you would need to know the color of the jewel and where you're going to need to put it uh, by one of the clues you get. Uh-oh. So, uh, wait, here's the deal, okay? If there is a special prize at the middle of a nuclear explosion, you should at least be able to throw it at enemies and give them, like, radiation poisoning or something. <laughs> okay? That's your take on this? Yeah. My take is they missed an opportunity here. Because seriously, this game does not l shout nuclear wasteland at all, okay? No, I don't see nuclear wasteland either. But it could also be one of those things where it was like, there's an actual original story in Japan, and then the United States just kind of said, that doesn't make sense, let's just make up our own thing. Yeah, it looks like, wow, just the span of all the different reviews here. There are people who love this game, uh, and there are people who hate this game. I like the this person... Is a... Oh, yeah? Let's go, go ahead, go ahead. I like the person, their, their title is, Do not associate this with Castlevania. This is more of a farce than a game. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, and they're like, story pretty much non-existent. For some reason or another, you have to defeat all of the prominent world figures slash leaders slash wise men in their homeland, in their castle or famous monument, and then sit down and eat supper. What? With them. <laughs> then take their jewels, the eight eyes, so you can open a gate in the house of Ruth, wherever that is. Nothing makes any sense, though, and everything is very very stereotypical in the country. In Germany, you fight a bunch of bad knights. India, you fight sub-creatures. Egypt, the undead. Arabia, a bunch of violent sword fighters. And Africa, a bunch of tribal savages and tropical birds. And as you can probably tell from Arabia or Africa, the levels don't even have to be real countries. Also, <laughs> okay, I'm enjoying this rant. Yeah, I know that's one complaint about a lot of stuff that you have all these country names and then Africa. <laughs> also, you get served by the people or dead people you've been killing and the endings are mind-bogglingly stupid. Wait, there are multiple endings? Well, like I said, there's the good ending and then there's the, um... Then there's the one where you don't use all the clues and figure out what order the jewels are supposed to go into. Uh-huh. So how how do you control this bird? You know, I'm seeing witches hex um, fighting the boss. I think I, I remember correctly. Um, well, now witches hex is doing the right thing and just using the bird just staying up there. Uh, whatever plane you're on, you press up and A to uh, let the bird go. Okay. And then you press down and A to attack. Gotcha. And then just press I think A or up and A to bring the bird back to you. But yeah, this is the Witch of Sex is doing the correct way of beating this level. Well, correct is in a way that will work in the end. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, if you're doing it, I don't know what the correct, correct way, but mm -hmm. yeah, this the is the safest way. I'll it's say. slow, but it works. Just, I'm just hoping the bird doesn't die. Please don't die, birdie. Uh, the bird should be good. And before bird dies. <laughs> Please don't die, bird! That's like my only request right now. I love it. You kill the guy and then you go eat with him. It's a nice friendly battle that you're having here. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's close. One more hit. One more hit. Yes! Witch's Hex does it, moving on to the next stage. Now, and now we get some different music. Nice. I like changing the music up. I don't know. The, the music in the first stage, I kind of dig. I really liked it. No, the music is good in this game. I can't fault the music. It's just if the gameplay doesn't match the music, then <laughs> I'll just download the soundtrack and not play the game. <laughs> okay, All so right. it looks like you get a sword as the reward here. Yeah, and that's basically the your next weapon for the next uh, boss. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Probably... A g yeah, that's why you told him to do it in this order. Well, yeah, alongside being able to better track them. Yeah, no joke, if they tried to figure out the order themselves, they wouldn't have beaten one level, period. <laughs> okay. I think when I practiced, played this by myself, I actually did beat one level out of order, but it was just because I was lucky. Wow, the music in Egypt is good. -ish. Yay, platforming. The bird unfortunately does not get to eat. It ate the it ate the boss, okay? I think it <laughs> ate enough for the day. Should probably put your bird on a diet. Yeah, in some of the future levels, you're gonna have to use the bird to hit the switch in order to go through certain doors. Because the doors will close in a few seconds. Oh yeah. Okay. 
yeah, I'm just looking at this level. Is it fairly easy to understand where you're supposed to go? Oh my gosh, Lightyear just got wrecked by a panther. Yeah, the panthers are evil in this game. They just do not care about your health whatsoever. Are those unicorn monkeys on Witch's Hex's side? Like, I see what? a horn! Oh, maybe it wasn't I just called an ogre of sorts. I I think it was a unicorn monkey. I think a unicorn monkey could look better. You know, let's let's go ahead and do some scientific experiments and make a unicorn monkey. Cause that sounds uh, I don't awesome. Uh you get the funding on that and then we'll work on it. Oh yeah, probably an Oni, but why is an Oni in Egypt? Oh, oh yeah, I see that Witch's, Witch's Hex is just taking all the damage because she just did, like, got hit way too much in the very beginning. Yeah, I, I think that she's just trying to die right now. Which is, yeah, a really good thing to do just to be safe. Oh, oh boy, well, everybody press F for Orin. But that's okay, Kutra's probably got a good meal out of Orin. <laughs> Seriously, this bird! He'll eat anything! Okay, so I'm looking. Oh my gosh, some of these names for the enemies, so... Oh um, yeah, we didn't even mention that. <laughs> <laughs> so, the Arabian dude is named Erebus. There's some small wizard named Shrimp. Scimitar Sam. Yoga, it's a skeleton that shoots fireballs. Wow. Uh, Sir Slice. <laughs> what? What happened? Last time someone said yeah. I need a... Oh my gosh. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, Sir Slice, Crossboy. He has a crossbow. There's Slim. He's a skeleton. <laughs> I approve. Uh, Jack Knife. He has a knife. Fang is the bat. Wings is the guy, the suit of armor with an axe. That doesn't have wings. Well, he has wings on his helmet in the manual. Jabber, he's got a spear. Ugly, there's an enemy named <laughs> Ugly. Can you imagine? They're like, okay, what name do I get? We're calling you Ugly. But I want to be called something else. Too bad. Uh, Baldy is one of the enemies. He's bald. Hothead is the flaming skull. Hardball looks like a demon dude with a ball and chain. Sharp, suit of armor with a sword. Claw, Ninjo. It's like a Ninja Joe. Some guy with the triple point. What are those called? Sides? I think that um, Witch's Sex just took the lead. Nice. Good job, Witch's Just a little sex. bit, but yeah, they're almost at the boss, actually. Sweet. And this is one of those scenarios that I was talking about where no! you need to have more. Aw. Well. The switch is at the bottom and the exit is at the top, so you need to keep Orin at the bottom while you go to the top. So, yeah. Okay, so you want to know the name of your Oni guy or the monkey unicorn? His sure. name is Spike. Spike? Yep. I'm just imagining Spike Vegeta strapping a unicorn horn to his <laughs> forehead and wandering around. Ah! Oh, and the cat, the panther's named Snaggletooth. Okay, that's pretty good. I like it. Okay, now Lightyear's gone to the next, that same area. 
Yeah. But now I have to figure out how to do the door. Okay, light your... Oh yeah, I think I remember how this is done. Wah wah. Like, I think Lightyear has the right idea. He does. It's just there a pain we go. Of butt. There you go. And then you just abandon your bird. Bird comes back. Oh, that's nice. Now we're a boss. Yay, boss. Okay, it looks like a wizard with green hair. I'm glad that we're seeing the second boss, though. Nice. Usu and Dan God of Thunder still having a hard time with Stage 1, but Witches Hex and Lightyear are currently on Stage 2. Let's see what Lightyear is able to do. What is that jump? Yeah, the jump. Holy <laughs> guacamole. Okay, that is not okay. That That is why he cannot face his boss head on, too. And that's why you need the white crystal. <laughs> it's so good! Yeah, now he's on the top level with you. Oh, jeez, and Lightyear is getting a bit pummeled. Yeah, There's nothing be... but death to the right, Lightyear. No! He's gonna jump at you! Watch out! Oh my... Ah! <laughs> And bam, he got Mario'd. Wow. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I cannot wait for Dan to give me my shoe. That jump was too good. Dan, I think it's starting to get close to the boss again on stage one. Yeah, he just does not have a lot of health. Yeah, we're basically Wrestle Chat now. I'm sorry, everybody. Don't even mention Wrestle Chat because it turns into Wrestle Chat as soon as you say Wrestle Chat. Yeah, we're we're doomed, NPC. <laughs> what is Wrestle Chat? Or should I not even ask? I think you'll find out. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. I can't trust any of y'all. Okay, Lightyear passing Spike. Yeah, I, I look, if there was Luchador chat, I would totally dig it. Oh, we'd be all over that. I'd get a mask. And uh, we'd all be, you know, Luchadorian all the time. I believe that's a word. You can quote me on that. Okay. Tomorrow we're going to all be Luchadorian. Oh man, Luchadors are so cool though, okay? Unironically, I love them. Okay, Lightyear fighting the Mudman. Oh no! Uh, Lightyear, I'm a little bit concerned. Mudman is coming for you. It looks like Witch's Hex is almost to the boss again. Yeah, but Witch's Hex does not have any life whatsoever. Oh no, she's gonna die. Well, the ghost just cornered her. Cor cornered her. <laughs> Shut up! Sorry, I can't English either. So I can't don't... English! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I feel like I need to go in the corner for a little while. How did that happen? Okay, Lightyear is continuing on. Oh, there's a guy with a hammer. Yeah, poor Usu. This is not being able to take down the boss, but I do think he has done more damage to the boss than Dan, so he's technically <laughs> in a slight lead. <laughs> Usu is typing <laughs> in chat, this game is really not good at all. We have two players 
who have confirmed this is not a good game. As neat features. I, I would probably agree with that assessment. The features are interesting, the game itself, not necessarily so. Like I said, like, like I said before, there are some good aspects to it, but oh, just yeah. nothing to make you want to really play further in. And God love Feasel for speedrunning this game. Oh yeah, Feasel is oh. just fantastic. Oh. One thing I have not mentioned, and this will get you a good laugh. Tell me. This is this is the easy difficulty. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, there are three quests to this game. Okay. This is quest one. So after you beat this game, the good ending, you get the uh, password for um, quest two. Okay. Which makes everything harder. And quest three, as you can imagine, makes everything harder. Oh, jeez. Okay, so you have to beat them three times in order to actually beat them. You have to get the true ending. Why the crap is there a true ending? Hey, guess what? There was nuclear waste, and now I've got eight eyes. The end. That's all I need, okay? That's all I need. And my bird, for some reason, killed like 20 people. <laughs> it was pretty awesome. Listen. It's a good bird. You're a good bird. Yes, you are, Curtis. Oh, Lightyear! Lightyear! Oh! That is a death. He got dunked on. He tried to dunk on the boss there, but the boss was like, I'm not having any of this. Oh, no, no. Okay. Yeah. Panther is just deadly. What a jerk, that panther. Let's see. So, if I'm not mistaken, let me see what I can find out about this boss uh, that they're facing in Egypt, because I believe he has a name as well. Oh my gosh, Ruth looks amazing in the manual. Yeah. Oh, she's got a giant, like, cow skull on her head. And a whip. And high heels. Wow, that's not the 90s <laughs> slash 80s at all. Yeah, I have yet to get... Well, the thing about it is that once you've beaten all the levels, the fun part is that you get to do a boss rush. Ooh. Okay, yeah, so... Yeah, so you have to fight all the bosses again. But they give you full health for all the bosses, I believe? Question mark? Um, but yeah, then after you fight them, you go after the final... For the final duel, or for the final eye, technically. Let's see. That that sounds rough. Okay, Egypt Castle. This castle is ruled by Nari Tanados. He is an evil sorcerer who throws white power balls from his staff. Beware of his leaping ability. He can jump right over your head. <laughs> Defeat him and you will get a big red ruby called the Blood of Tutankhamen. Ooh. I love it. He can jump right over your head or on your head. Yeah, I think the furthest I progress is I've beaten five of the seven levels and just refuse to play the final two because of, you know, caring about how much enjoyment I get out of games. So, yeah, I have not beaten the final two levels. Man. Dan is going to have some words for me. I just know it. Oh, he has a lot of words. He's already expressed some of those. <laughs> I like the giant straw that he, like, assembled for this match. Oh, jeez. Okay. It's really, right now, victory is between Witch's Hex and Lightyear. I don't see Usu or Dan getting uh, all the way through this. But Dan is actually doing the strat. Oh, this is good. I think he's figured it out. Let's see what Usu is able to do here for the boss. Okay, Dan, just don't let your birdie die. Don't let your birdie die. Usu? Usu? Oh my god. 
gosh, Goose is dead. Ah, I think yeah, that's, sorry, Goose. You. I think Dan, God of Thunder, has the right idea here. He's probably going to be able to defeat the boss. His bird has a lot of health. Yeah, he'll be able to take out the boss. Cheese strats. It's the way to do it. Okay, Lightyear is fighting the boss here. Well, unfortunately, the power balls just got Lightyear. And that's a game over. But that's okay. Lightyear has done damage to the boss and currently has the lead. Let's see what Witch's Hex is able to do here. Yeah, and Witch's use... Hex is going to get one chance on this boss, so she's, she's just going to have to be lucky in playing this off. Yeah, let's see what Witch's Hex can do. <laughs> okay, Witch's Hex did not use the bird, actually, to get... Well, technically she did, because any... Oh, and Dan finally beat the first level! Nice! <laughs> Dan, having dinner with the Skelly! Okay, Witch's Hex needs to be a little bit careful about this. Let's see if we get to see the jumping ability. Come on! Powerball! Whoa, that jump! I just love it. It's so good. Yep. I'm kind of curious now, because um, Witches has taken the super safe strat. I don't know how much damage um, Witches is going to do. How much time do we have left? Uh, we have just over two minutes left. Hmm. This Witches may could be possibly a... do this. If... I'm not sure, but we'll, we'll see. I think it's better to be safe at this point. Oh no! Uh oh. Witch's X, no! no! Well, that jumping ability. Oh, whoops. Um, oh. <laughs> this is going to a different this room. This is like, I don't care, I'm going to Germany. And he's going into one of the maze rooms. This uh. is one of the maze castles that it is different every time. What? Wait, so this is a roguelike? What? This is a roguelike now? A road? Rogue. Rogue? Oh my gosh, NPC. I'm so sorry. I'm just saying Do you that, play uh, video I'll... games, NPC? I play video games. I don't believe it, if you don't know what a roguelike is. Sorry, NPCs. <laughs> Roguelikes are generally randomly generated dungeon crawlers of sorts. This oh, will be more not, of it's not, it's not random. There is a path. It's just you need to know the path, and it's a bug to try to figure out the right path. Oh, okay. Yeah, as everybody in chat is saying, we're taking away your gamer license. You're no longer licensed to game. Well, speaking of uh, gaming, uh, Big Bad game -a -thon submissions will be opening up July 1st. That's right, I saw that! Oh man, I am yeah. super excited. Oh yeah, that's gonna be fun. Shameless plug. <laughs> it's, it's mine. No! Oh geez, I didn't even get close on the timer this time, but that's it, time is up! Everybody celebrate our dear runners because they did a fantastic job. Now, it was between Lightyear and Witch's Hex who took first. I believe it was Lightyear, if I'm not mistaken. Lightyear, Lightyear is first, Witch's Hex second, and third, Usu fourth. Fantastic. Usu did make it to the boss of the first stage, but man, that boss is rough if you don't use the cheese strats, and he didn't manage to figure out the cheese. Uh, everybody else used those cheese strats in order to beat him, and hey, it worked out. Good job, everybody, for doing this match. Oh my gosh, this was a blast. Thank you, NPC. Ah, uh, not a problem, and I will let, I will hop off and start watching the Harry Potter and the what? Spirit of Dobby. Spirit of Dobby. Yeah, you know, Dobby is a kind soul. 
and even more so, he's got his own video game! Uh, luckily, this is a beautiful Chinese bootleg game, uh, Harry Potter and the Spirit of Dobby, so get all your legs booted up! If you don't have your legs on, then you probably have some other issues. Uh, are you are you taking off now, NPC? Because I've so yes, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Bye. So welcome for everybody who's new here. Kusagrani is a bad video game tournament. We're having four-way matches to see who can make the most progress in a random, well, quote unquote, random. You know, a game that they've never played in an hour. So, these are blind playthroughs. They have not seen these games before. They have not played these games before. And, you know, it, it's possible that they may have seen a little bit of the game, but they have not uh, played it in any substantial way.